procrastinating currently because the Wi-Fi is not working we're fingers crossed hoping they're sorting it out um, but we don't we don't even need the internet for like some of our work so I don't even know why yeah me too like I was just about to search for some I was like ah I just keep going to search something and then I'm like oh um, but yeah we're just doing some work I've got my exam tomorrow I just quickly saw um, Amy and we booked our train ticket to Birmingham so sorted um, and I've just been doing some revision as well with my the girls on my course um, before it came to 200 degrees. Oh I need to put my nose piercing in. That's what I need to do. Okay. on FaceTime to my nephew. <laughs> Bonnie! Oh, is that you? Look at you. He's been so good, hasn't he, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he had a really good first night. He was only a little bit upset for a couple minutes. Oh, look at him. Oh my god, that looked terrifying! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it really makes me worry. <laughs> It's because her. No, that wasn't to scare anyone. I just got jump. I jumped at you because your eyes glowed like in the vlog, and I didn't realize you'd come out. So I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Right, oh. Let's go. Wait, wait. Okay, so <laughs> this happens every now and again. It has actually hasn't happened in ages, has it? But um, the lights have all tripped, and it's always when we're just about to do something, oh, e.g., go to bed. Do you want to do your alarm thing? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. There's this situation. That so Hat, why is it always going to go soggy? Okay, so the situation is Hat goes and flicks the switch and then this weird alarm comes off and I have to I disarm it or off. something. And I, and I have no idea how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do that thing that Hat's doing though. This weird box ting. Cue the fucking weird noise. So, so I'm just about to go to sleep. I've been doing lots and lots of revision today for my test tomorrow. Um, I think I might have said this, I'm not sure, but I'm actually excited for my test tomorrow. It's my human identification exam, which is 50% of my module grade. I actually got my presentation grade back the other day and I got 66%, which I'm super happy with. Like, I was like hoping, like I was hoping to get a 2-1 and if I could have first, but I completely understand why I didn't get a first because I missed out so much information that I wanted to say. Like just under the pressure and nerves but I'm super happy with 66 like um especially when it's like our first proper big presentation thing sort of in front of everyone else in my class so or my course so yeah pretty proud of myself for that one I um have the other half of it tomorrow I'm hoping to get like a high percentage in the exam and I've revised quite a lot for it like I feel like I've put a lot of effort into it so fingers crossed it all goes well because I think I might have a chance of being able to get a first overall in this module and I just really want to because it's the one that I enjoy the most it's something that I want to do in the future and um, so yeah fingers crossed it all goes well tomorrow um, and I'm sure I will speak to you in the morning because this is going to be a little two-day vlog I've been speaking to Barney on FaceTime and um, I miss him so much already but he's doing really well he's been so good since he's like come back so bless him he's settling in nicely thank you for all your tips by the way um people have been in dming me on instagram and like commented on the video as well some great advice that some things that i didn't know some things that we'd heard about and like sort of reinforced that it might be a good idea to do like bits and pieces so yeah 
thank you very, very much for all the positive comments and feedback and if you haven't watched already I basically got a puppy and he is in my last vlog and he's just the cutest thing ever a little cocker spaniel but um just as a bit of background my brother bought, decided to buy it my, me and my brother have wanted one for ages my brother had saved up money so he decided to buy one we'd wanted one like literally our whole life but our family was always like no 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 but like it sort of works out well like the timing's good now and everyone loves dogs in my house isn't it wasn't the reason it was just our lifestyles were a bit difficult to have a dog however now everything's sort of like a little bit better um so yeah we've got our little pups i'll be spending a lot of time with them over easter so i'm sure you'll see them a lot in the vlogs um and this is like my last week of uni before i have my easter break i have two weeks off and go back on the 20 well I'll go back into uni on the 29th of march for a march it's not even March, is it? April. <laughs> God, where is the time going? But yeah, I go back on the 29th of April. But this week, I've got some exciting bits and pieces going. I've got, only got a few more lectures to go. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just really excited for this week because I've got two really exciting events coming up and I'm sure you will enjoy them. Well, I hope you'll enjoy them anyway. Um, I feel so privileged and grateful that I've been able to get on these trips. And my management have been absolutely wonderful and just managed to sort me out with some great, like, great experiences too help me out so yeah i'm very excited and i'm excited to share that with you as well I haven't been to an event in absolutely ages and i just find them so fun because i get to meet lots of new people like-minded people who love the same things as me and yeah it's just fab so looking forward to the next few days there will actually be daily vlogs one daily vlog from wednesday and i'll upload on thursday one daily vlog from thursday I'll, and i'll upload friday lots of other things planned so i hope you are excited there will probably be a lot of revision vlogs over Easter as well because I will be revising for my exam. So let me know if you want more of those or if you just want me to like weekly vlog, um, including bits of my revision. Just um, just want to hear what your opinion is on that. I was thinking doing quite a lot of like daily uploads of me like revising and like focusing on a different subject each day or like a different module each day. So you guys can see my different like revision processes for like my different types of like modules because I thought that might be interesting and like to show you a little bit of the content that I'm learning. I will see you guys in the morning when I have my exam. Right, so it's exam day. Just been getting ready this morning. Got my hoodie on for comfort. Um, and just my black mom jeans from Topshop. No, and my black mom jeans from Miss Selfridge. I'm not actually feeling too nervous, to be honest. Like like I said yesterday, I'm quite excited and I want it to get over. I'm just about to go downstairs, get some breakfast, then head off. I, I don't think I've shared this before, but basically every Tuesday, the bins get taken. The vehicle makes the weirdest sound like listen if you can right so i am just on my way home from uni i'm just quickly stopping at the post office because i need to pick up a parcel my exam went well I think like it wasn't the best I possibly could have done and um, I feel like some of the questions are a little bit harsher than I thought they were going to be but fingers crossed I get um, a decent grade and I don't know when we're going back but yeah it was oh we went to go look at the post affair that the third year um, that the third year students like basically had to do so I got to see a little bit of an insight into what I'm doing next year for my research project and like my dissertation and stuff so yeah it was really interesting right so I'm now home from uni <laughs> um no it's literally like almost nine o'clock because I had a four hour nap so love that my exam went okay from this morning like it could have gone better but it wasn't too bad no it's fine um and yeah i literally came home because i had the worst migraine i went to the library for a bit to do um <laughs> went to the library for a bit to do some coursework but my head was killing so much so i came home to have a nap and like some medis to try and make their migraine go away but i think i'm gonna have to go to the doctors about it because i keep getting like really bad migraines and i don't know if it's like my pill or i'm not i'm not really sure so i'm gonna go have to check that out because it's not good and i literally feel like my head is bleeding like it's so bad um, so yeah I literally had a four hour nap this is why I can't nap because I go to sleep like I don't nap I literally had like a full on extensive dream yeah 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 we're setting a rule so if I have a 
if I go up to my room for a nap and it's longer than an hour, Megan's going to wake me up because it's not okay. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll be awake for ages now, which is annoying as fuck. Um, but me and Meg got to tan because we just fancy it and I've got like a couple of things up going on this week and I just feel a lot more confident in like outfits and just daily life with a tan. And I'm just you doing well? it because I have loads of events this week. <laughs> uni, 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 uni. Of course, of course, of course. But it's not, I feel like I feel more comfortable with a tan on my face, like just leaving the house. Yeah, it's just annoying because it comes off so quick. Yeah, because we like cleanse the shit out of our faces every evening. Yeah. yeah. You, could, you could easily top up though, I guess. Like, you could literally just. Swept again. You could literally just top up. Oh my god, that smells like Nandini iron. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna watch Sophia and Tizia's new haul because it is 50 minutes Six long. Months. What is that? <laughs> no, it's just been sat over there all day. Ew. <laughs> I feel really weird and just freaky. I feel, so sleepy. I feel sleepy even though I've had a four hour nap. Right, so me and Megan have fake tanned. We're looking. Very dark. Oops. <laughs> Do you look dark? Oh there? my god. <laughs> Compared to the white walls. <laughs> um, it looks so bad. It's fine, it's fine. In person it looks fine. Um, my teeth look really white. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just fake tan. We used Bondi and Sienna. We just watched Sophia and Chintzia's recent haul and want to buy absolutely everything. I'm going to have to go on PLT now. Mm -hmm. Waiting for a couple of our orders to come through currently as I well. I actually haven't ordered clothes for ages. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Oh, my camera's fucked. Like, <laughs> well, the camera's fine, obviously, because it's working. Like, you can see me and it's recording. But, like, the battery, look, it's, like, broken at the bottom. Like, it's not flat. So basically where I put the battery and SD card in, it's like seeping out and it's like weird and curved and concave. So that's great. And also the pa the battery won't eject, so I won't be able to charge the battery. So that's another situation that I need to... Yeah, I could try charging through my laptop, see if that works. My top looks disgusting. <gasps> what? This top is covered in shite. Oh my God, I look so sketty. <laughs> right, this is just... I'm grim. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try and justify uh, it. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Girl. So hopefully I can sort out my camera so it's like charged for the next couple of days because it's annoying because I'm actually doing something fun and interesting other than uni. So yeah, fingers crossed I can sort that out. If not, I'm gonna have to send my camera off in Easter, which will be annoying, but at least it can get fixed because it covers. It's like under the two-year warranty. So yeah, fab. Key. We're gonna go to bed now. I'm just about to go to bed now. Um. I'm just sorting everything out for tomorrow because I have a Primark event with Amy so make sure you're following me on Instagram because when this vlog goes live me and Amy will be en route to Birmingham for an exciting Primark event. I think it's the biggest Primark in Europe I want to say. Um, it's actually launching in Birmingham um, by the Bull Ring. Um, so yeah, if anyone's interested then definitely stick around for tomorrow's vlog or go head over to my Instagram if you want to see my stories. Thank you for watching the last two days. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow for another fun vlog. Bye.